Hey everybody, this is Professor Bauer. Welcome to week four of ICT 4010 Enterprise Architecture. Uh, let's get a quick summary of where we're going this week and just to set up our class for Tuesday night. Um, I was able to grade all of the papers and uh, everyone did well. Um, I've got some uh, resources to help you with in terms of Turabian and Chicago Manual of Style Issues, uh, Grammar, whatever. Those are the things that most often um, can, can spell the difference of a, of a grade point uh, between an A and a B in, uh, in these papers. Most people get the assignment but the formatting and those kinds of things are, are where folks have problems. So let's, we'll talk about that um, and I'll share with you a number of um, solutions that have worked for me and for my students. I, I have a master's in English. I've taught writing for um, about 20 years and um, I think I know what makes a for good business writing and uh, I hope I can help you. This week is week four. Um, we're looking at the applications and data side of the TOGAF layers. Um, we will walk through point by point the Arch Assurance case study uh, version 3.1. Make sure you get that. And we'll be going through uh, the ADM in detail on, uh, on Tuesday night. So keep that in mind. Um, here is where if you take any of the, the major uh, circles around uh, the TOGAF framework, um, as we'll be looking at information systems architecture, it explodes to a lot of different inputs and outputs, uh, phases and artifacts. And um, just read through the parts of TOGAF that um, mainly in, in uh, chapters four and following that will help you uh, get into this area a little bit better and and understand if you if you look at TOGAF and um, uh, the TOGAF standard and really focus on core concepts which is chapter two and then chapter five chapter four is the ADM the architecture development method and you know we won't spend too much time in the preliminary phase chapter five but then chapter six and then uh, seven is business architecture. And so keep that in there and then eight and nine and 10. Um, so get on the reading. That's the thing that uh, not having a written assignment, it makes you think, oh, everything's fine. I don't have to do anything um, wrong. Make sure you jump on this because it will creep up on you. We'll talk some more about it Tuesday night. All right, um, so we looked at the information systems architecture within TOGAF, and uh, we're going to look at um, some other areas of that, the inputs and outputs. We talked about that a little bit. We're going to go through the case study and help outline not only the, the key information about uh, what's happening to Arch Insurance, but then how to write the paper. That's really what everyone needs to know, okay? Um, so complete the readings, look at the lecture material, continue to work on the assignment, all right? Um, don't let the fact that things are not on fire um, convince you that <laughs> they can't, um, that they can never become on fire uh, because that's how these things catch fire. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. We're not in panic mode yet, but um, this is week four and um, Week six will come um, uh, sooner than you, sooner than you think. Uh, I'm not trying to make it, anyone feel afraid or paranoid, but uh, a good reminder um, is is always welcome here. All right, so here's a summary of of uh, what we have. Week three was a bunch of downloads. I think everyone got to that. This week, we're reviewing the case study materials. We're going to look the, at the inputs into the information architecture layer and the outputs. And then this is going to help you understand how things change as they go through the TOGAV uh, cycle. And then week five is um, 
preparing the paper and the deadline of course is week six um, we'll uh, we'll work on that this is the um, the rubric uh, 200 points um, the biggest one of the biggest assignments uh, the final one is 300 I believe so this is a um, a four week long assignment worth major points and it builds so in other words it it uh, it assumes you understand this when you've written paper one and there and therefore can add more material in the succeeding uh, iterations so keep that in mind links to the you call um, style guide and if you want to just use the uh, uh, Chicago manual of style CMS or Turabian um, and there's the link for that there um, get comfortable with the Archie software be able to manipulate it and if not we have a couple of options we'll walk through on Tuesday night so that's it for now have a good rest of your weekend and uh, we will see you on Tuesday night. Bye-bye now.